Street. Well, that, uh... Mr Speaker. I call uh, James Shaw. <laughs> Mr Speaker, we need to talk about the weather because so far in 2017 it has been wild. Last week Cyclone Debbie tore through the North Island and today another cyclone is tearing down upon us. Mr Speaker, there have always been cyclones of course in New Zealand but two in the space of a week is not normal. 2017, of course, has not been a normal year, has it? While we were having the worst summer imaginable here in Wellington, the farmers of Hawke's Bay didn't see rain for months. And in Christchurch, it was so dry that when the Port Hills caught fire, the images looked more like an Australian bushfire. And they weren't the only wildfires this summer, were they? There were wildfires around Queenstown, Marlborough, Coromandel, and Hawke's Bay. And then came the floods. In Northland, they went from being parched to being inundated inside of a month. Shops in New Lynn have been flooded twice already this year. In March, the people of Coromandel found themselves completely cut off from the rest of the country by flood water. And then, of course, last week was ex-tropical cyclone Debbie, and the people of Edgecombe felt it the most, and they are still not home, and there's more trouble on the way today. Mr Speaker, we asked the Prime Minister last Tuesday, did he think that just possibly that climate change might be causing all of this wild weather? And you know what he said? I'm going to quote him. He said, I don't think it matters too much, he said. We don't spend time trying to connect the two, he said. That is a remarkable thing to say. I mean, I cannot think of any other catastrophe in New Zealand when the Prime Minister has decided that he didn't need to know what the cause was. Think about that. When somebody has cancer, you don't ignore the cigarettes. When, somebody is, when there's been a car accident, you do not ignore the smell of alcohol on the driver's breath. And when the people of Havelock North start getting sick, you do not ignore what's in the water. But that is exactly what the Prime Minister is proposing here. Because the thing is that the causes of this weather do matter. And they matter to the people of Edgecombe. They matter to the people of the Coromandel and Northland and Hawke's Bay and Canterbury. They matter to the homeowners in Christchurch who faced down wildfires for two whole days. Climate change is causing more floods, more fires, more droughts, and we need a government that is ready to help ordinary New Zealanders to prepare for what is coming. We need a government that is actually willing to admit that there is a problem. We need a government that will admit that sea levels are rising. We need a government that will admit that storms are happening more frequently and they are getting worse, that droughts are longer and deeper, that climate change is actually a problem. And we need a government that is willing to step up and actually do something about it. Not talk, do something about it. But greenhouse gas emissions in this country have risen 19% since this government came to office. We need a government that can recognise that solving climate change is actually change for the better. Right now, this government is acting like an addict an addict that cannot admit that it has a problem with climate change. And we cannot afford to wait for them to hit rock bottom before things change. It is time to change the government. And change is coming. Yeah. I call uh, Melissa Lee. Uh, and my turn came a little bit more southern than I, I, I was anticipating, sir. Uh, 